going on guys? It is Corbin Stuckey at Pixel Talk here and today I'm here to give you my reaction to the new trailer for Incredibles 2. I am so excited. I watched Incredibles when I was a kid. It was a movie that at the time I didn't realize it but it is a perfect superhero family film. People nowadays ask why it's like impossible to make a Fantastic Four movie. Like what? Like why can it not be made? And I always respond to people and I say like guys have you not seen the Incredibles? Like that is like a legit like family superhero movie. Like when I saw that and the animation, it was the first Pixar movie to actually use like human characters. Like there were other human characters in like Pixar movies, but this was the first time that the human characters were the main characters. They weren't just like the background side characters. They were the main characters. They weren't bugs. They weren't toys. They weren't monsters. They were human characters. And that's another reason why people really appreciated The Incredibles. And it's been so many years since the first Incredibles came out. It's been since like 2004. So I'm really excited just to see the change that they've made and the time period that's progressed. So let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Jack. Oh my god. He's still, like, got his powers. It's gonna be a two! It's gonna be a two emblem! Yeah! Oh! That's cool. That's cool how they did that. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> okay, so as much as I really like it and I do want to actually see it, there is a part of me that is a little disappointed. But okay, like don't dislike the video yet. I, I like how they are finally figuring out that Jack Jack has powers. I really enjoy that and I love how he might be kind of like the main focus of the movie where the Incredibles are like, oh, he has powers. Like we, we got to like figure out a way to, um, you know, teach him how to use his abilities. And I just like the creativity behind it and like how he made the two and the emblem. However, I thought I thought that maybe time would go by in the sequel. Like maybe Dash and Violet would be um, grown up. I just thought it would maybe explore them as like actual superheroes. Like not that they're like not actual superheroes, but like not as kids. I thought that would have been really cool just to see them as like the main superheroes of the new film, but if they want to go down this route where they are focusing more on the family right after the events of the first Incredibles, that's totally fine. I think it would really be cool to see like um, the movie start with that uh, last ending of the Incredibles where like they have to fight that guy who came from the ground. So if they want to do that, that's totally fine. That's something that people have been wanting for a very long time is for them to start the movie, like a sequel to the Incredibles from the ending of the first one. So I think that's if they want to do that, like I said, totally fine. I just wish that it, like time would have passed a little bit more. Maybe it will. Maybe there are, like there's gonna be like time progression. Maybe we'll see Jack Jack grow up. But as far as we can see now, it, it appears that it's gonna take place right after the events of the first Incredibles, and I'm totally fine with that. I'm glad to see that this family is still you know happening, and I'll definitely check it out. I love the Incredibles. I, I'm I wouldn't say that I'm disappointed. It's just something that I wasn't expecting. So yes, guys, that was my reaction to the Incredibles trailer. Comment down below what you thought of this trailer. Like the video, share it, and please subscribe to Pixel Talk if you haven't yet for more trailer reactions, movie reviews, and gaming content. Thank you guys so much. I am Corbin Stuckey, and this is Pixel Talk.